Hey guys, welcome back to Man of War Gaming. Today we're diving into something that has the potential to reshape not just the future of Ubisoft, but the entire industry. Ubisoft has just revealed a playable AI experiment called Teammates. And this isn't some background tech demo or marketing buzzword. This is a real in-game system where AI squad mates actually listen to you, respond to you, and adapt to you through natural voice commands. Not button prompts, not scripted dialogue, real-time, evolving interaction. And the moment I saw this, my mind immediately jumped to the Division franchise. Because if something like this ever makes its way into Division 2 or Division 3, it could be the biggest shift the series has ever seen. So here's what Ubisoft is experimenting with. Teammates is a playable FPS experience set in a dystopian future resistance op. You're infiltrating an enemy base to recover missing team members, and along the way, you're not just fighting enemies, you're shaping the mission simply by talking. You're partnered with three AI systems. Jaspar, a voice assistant who works like a tactical analyst embedded in your comms, and two physical squad mates, Sophia and Pablo. And unlike regular NPCs, these characters aren't running on rails. Your voice, your natural speech, drives their decisions, their movement, their combat timing, and even their personalities in the story. Jaspar isn't Siri with a gun. You can ask him to highlight enemies, dig up lore, adjust your game settings on the fly, or even help you navigate when you're lost. Jasper, can you highlight the enemies for me? Sure, highlighting all enemies in the area. And he reacts situationally. He knows what's happening in the mission. He responds in character. He becomes a real part of the world rather than a menu system. And Sofia and Pablo take it even further. Early in the mission, you don't have a weapon. Your only chance is strategy and communication. You tell them where to move, when to shoot, how to engage. You set up the ambush using nothing but your voice, and the outcome depends on how well you lead. Ubisoft's narrative team designed the motivations and personalities, so they'll improvise, but only within the world, the lore, and the story rules. It's not chaos, it's guided improvisation that makes each experience feel personal. The goal of teammates isn't to replace writers or designers. Ubisoft has repeated that over and over. The idea is to blend handcrafted narrative with real-time AI reactions, letting players shape the moment instead of following a locked script. And here's where the connection to The Division becomes really interesting. Because The Division 2 is already experimenting with AI companions right now in Year 7 Season 3 Mutiny, that is not random. That is not accidental. Ubisoft is already testing player behavior around AI teammates within a live service environment and teammates feels like the next evolutionary step. Imagine speaking to Kelso on a mission and having her respond tactically instead of repeating the same three lines. Imagine asking an AI handler about an enemy faction mid-battle and actually getting lore delivered naturally. Imagine solo players getting the true SHD squad experience, not dumb bots who run into gunfire, but teammates who follow real commands like push left, don't aggro yet, or watch my six. Think about how that could change the dark zone. Think about how that could transform raids. Think about how that could affect story delivery and character progression. Teammates isn't being marketed as a product, but it's being developed as a tool Ubisoft can apply across games. Division 3 is in early production right now. If this tech matures over the next couple of years, we might be looking at the earliest blueprint of what tactical gameplay could feel like in the future of this franchise. So let me ask you something. Would voice-driven AI squad mates make the division more immersive for you, or would it take away from the realism? If Jaspar-style systems came to Division 2 right now, would you use them for missions, for open-world grinding, or only when playing solo? And if the Division 3 launches with this technology, do you think players would embrace it or reject it? I want to hear your thoughts because AI in gaming is becoming a bigger and bigger discussion, and Ubisoft is clearly testing this technology with purpose. Your voice matters in shaping how this franchise evolves. Before we wrap up, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so you never miss another breakdown on the division and the future of the franchise. And if you want to go the extra mile to support the grind here on Manowar Gaming, consider becoming a channel member. 
It makes a massive difference and helps keep this content coming week after week. I'll see you in the next one. Stay sharp, agents.